My name is Daniela Chase. I am going to United Tribes for my Associates in Graphic Design. Today I'm going to be reading The Good Twin and The Evil Twin. It doesn't have a precise author. Um, I tried to look it up and I pulled it from a short story book. It's been retold um, several times from different people and they just took a summary of it all and put it in the book. And I also cut the story off a little bit because it's really long. This is how it all began. There was only water, there was no sky, there was no land, only nothing. Then out of the waters rose a mist, and it became the sky. Still there was no sun, no moon, no stars, just darkness. But deep down in the waters of Kokoma, the creator. He was bodiless, nameless, breathless, motionless, and he was two beings, twins. Then the waters stirred and rushed and thundered. And out of the spraying foam rose the first twin, the good twin. With closed eyes, he cleaved the waves and came to the surface. He stood upon the waters, opened his eyes, and saw. There he named himself Kokomot, All Father. And from beneath the waters, a second voice called out to Kokomot, Brother, where did you rise? And how did you rise? With eyes open or with eyes closed? Makoto was the evil twin, and Kokomot wanted to make it more difficult for him to do harm. So Kokomot lied to him, saying, I opened my eyes while I was underwater. The second twin opened his eyes as he rose, and when he reached the surface, he was blind. Kokomot said, I name you Bokoto, the blind one. Then Kokomot said, now I shall make the four directions. He pointed with his finger and took four steps, walking on the water. Then he stood still for a while and said, this is north. Then he went back to his starting place and in the same manner made the west, the south, and the east always taking four steps in each direction and always returning to the center. Now Kokomot said, I shall make the earth. Blind Makoto answered, I don't think you have the power to do this. Certainly I have, said Kokomot. Let me try to make the earth first, said Makoto. Certainly not, said Kokomot. Kokomot stirred the waters into a foaming whirlpool with his hand. They frothed and swelled and bubbled, and when they subsided, there was land, and Kokomot sat down upon it. Bokoto was angry because he would have liked to create the earth. But he said nothing and settled down by Kokomot's side. The blind evil one said to himself, I shall make something with a head, with arms and legs. I can make it out of the earth. Bokoto formed something resembling a human being, but it was imperfect. Instead of hands and feet, there were lumps. I had neither fingers nor toes. Bokoto hid it from Kokomot. And Kokomot said, I feel like making something. Out of mud, he shaped a being that was perfect. It had hands and feet, fingers and toes, even fingernails and toenails. Pokemon waved this being four times toward the north and then stood, on, or stood it on its feet. It moved, it walked, it was alive. It was a man. Pokemon made another being in the same way and it was alive. It was a woman. Bokoto went on trying to make humans, piecing together seven beings out of the earth. All were imperfect. What are you making, Pokemon asked. People, answered Bokoto. Here, said Kokomot, feel these people I've made. Yours have no hands or feet. Here, feel mine. Have fingers, thumbs to work, to fashion things, to draw bows, and to pick fruit. Kokomot examined the beings Bokoto had formed. These are no good, he said, and stamped them to pieces. Bokoto was so enraged that he drove down deep beneath the waters amid rumblings and thunderings. From the depths he sent up the whirlwind bringer of all evil. Kokomot stepped on the whirlwind and killed it, except for a little lift that slipped out from under his foot. In it were contained all the sicknesses which plague people to this day. So Kokomot was by himself, except for the two beings he had made. These were the Yumas. And in the same way he had created them, Kokomot now made the Kokopas, the Dikianos, and the Mojaves. In pairs he created them, then he rested. Four tribes he had created. After having rested, he made four more tribes, the Apaches, the Maricopas, the Pimas, and the Kahulas. In all, he made 24 kinds of people. The white people he left for last. The one he had made first, the Yuma man, said to Kokomai, teach us how to live. You must first learn how to increase, said Kokomai. In order to teach them, he began a son, or a son out of nothing. Without help from a woman, he sired him and named him Kamashkamo. 
He told men and women not to live apart, but to join together and their children. Still, something was missing. It is too dark, said Thomas. There should be some light. So he made the moon, the morning star, and all the other stars. Then he said, my work is done. But if I have not finished my song, Kumashtama will finish. Now among the beings Kokumat had made was Anya, the frog. She was powerful. Fire could not destroy her. She envied Kokumat his power and sought to destroy him. Kokumat knew this because he knew the thoughts of all the beings he had made. But he said to himself, I taught the people how to live. Now I must teach them how to die. For without death, there will soon be too many people on the earth. So I will permit Frog to kill them. Ani buried Fro down underneath the spot where Kokomont was standing and sucked the breath out of his body through a hole in the earth. Then Kokomont sickened and lay down to die. He called all the people to come to him. And all came except the white man who stayed by himself in the west. I'll put there. All right. Thank you.